Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 Green Bay Packers midseason stat review, which, again, is going to go over how the Packers look uh, from a statistical standpoint since 2014, and where are some of the areas where they need to improve uh, and all those other sort of things. So we're going to see how the Packers are better this year and worse this year based on various statistics. If you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you're not familiar with any of the terms I talk about in this video, again, just go to the description. It will give you all the information you need to know about how I came up with these numbers and what these numbers mean in the context of football. So follow this stuff out of the way, let's get to the 2018 Green Bay Packers. So overall, this team is much improved in terms of offense. 85.01 uh, turnover percentage for the Packers through eight weeks. Uh, that's better from 2017, a 48.88 out of 100. So they've improved in terms of turnover ratio. Um, sack percentage is not that great, 39.43. They're better compared to 2017 in terms of preventing sacks, but definitely not the best they've been. In the past, um, offensive score percentage is 86.81 out of 100. That's by far the third best they've been since 2014, so they are able to put points on the board. Defensively, they've gotten a little bit better, which is surprising to some, but they went from, from 6.75 in 2017 to 28.94 in 2018, so they're better at preventing points. In terms of generating turnovers, they're not that great, 12.44 out of 100. The worst that this defense has been in terms of generating turnovers for the Packers. Interception percentage also is 15.14, which is the worst they've been since since 2014. But their sack percentage has gone up a decent degree, 96.10 in terms of their defensive sack percentage in 2018, which is the best they've been in terms of generating sacks since 2014. Uh, their special teams is down. Punt returning yardage and kick returning yardage are both below average. This is the worst the Packers have been in terms of uh, special teams on offense, you know, offensive special teams. Um, defensive special teams is not that much better. Uh, specifically, defensive kick return yardage is below average. Um, field goal percentage is 32.08 out of 100, which is pretty much the same as it was last year. So they have not really improved in terms of field goal percentage, which is something that has to improve if this team wants to see more wins. Um, extra point percentage is also not that great, 12.59. Uh, 12.74 compared to 12.74 last year, so it's pretty much the same in terms of extra point percentage and punting average is pretty much the same. So special teams really hasn't changed that much for this Packers team. They've gotten better in terms of generating sacks. They've gotten a little bit better in terms of preventing points, and their offense has improved tremendously in terms of preventing turnovers and putting points on the board. But overall, this Packers team is just really, really, really inconsistent. Um, so we'll see how they end this year. Uh, on offense and on defense, uh, there is potential for this team to get to the playoffs based on all these sort of parameters here. But this is just a weak team, um, you, you know, because it's it's very offensive heavy. There's not a lot of balance to this team. It's not like 2014 by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but uh, overall, this is where the Packers look like in 2018 based on the midseason stat review. Uh, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Um, hit that like button and subscribe if you want more videos. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.